Welcome back to my classroom. This is Justin. Today I'm going to talk about degree of freedom calculation of one way ANOVA, factorial ANOVA, and uh, the uh, ANCOVA. These three procedures. So um, please watch my video, a long video, 27 minutes video on ANOVA before watching this video to understand what's the concept of sum of squares. Basically, what is ANOVA? ANOVA is an F value. F value. I mean ANOVA analysis we calculate an F value based on uh, between group variance divided by within group variance okay so we are calculating variance so what is variance variance is a uh, square of standard deviation so let us say standard deviation square is sum of x minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1 now this is a variance so what we do here is uh, for between condition and within condition we do this variance calculation so this particular part is uh, sum of squares sum of squares okay the squares and sum okay sum of squares of deviation from the center this is center and each value deviation sum of squares and this part indicates n minus 1 that is degree of freedom so where do we do that one we calculate this ss and we put it here degree of freedom we calculate here and we divide these two values we get m mean sum of squares mean sum of squares nothing but variance okay so variance of uh, between variance of within we divide these two you will get a f value so that's the basic logic so today's class we are going to look into how what are the ways in which we calculate this degree of freedom this particular value okay nothing else okay now let us con consider a condition um, of um, let us say uh, sound i mean noise will be appropriate but i'm not using the noise because the letter n uh, we have to use in different conditions so i'm using a con uh, independent variable here s sound so i have three conditions s1 s2 and s3 let us say low um, noise and um, moderate noise and high uh, noise sound level and uh, and the depend variable is the performance of the employees or group of people so the objective is whether uh, the sound has an effect on the performance of the people and this is a between group design basically i i use one group for s1 another group for s2 another group for s3 now uh, how do we do this one so assume that you have calculated this sum of squares and um, you need to calculate what is the degree of freedom okay degree of freedom means how many observations are there that, that we are using to calculate this particular score so basically uh, i have score one mean of s1 mean of s2 mean of s3 so you have three values here basically three values and these three values uh, is n in this context and n minus one would be um, two so i'm using a, a kind of equation where i'll say c column to represent this how i see in textbook uh, you can write anything here okay a b c or anything like that so i'm just using c here number of columns and uh, minus one same as n minus one so this will be in this condition two uh, three minus one two okay so this is how we calculate so it's basically n minus one okay now look at the next one within group variance so within group variance is variance within uh, here that means n minus n n minus 1 here n minus 1 here n minus 1 here each group n minus 1 n minus 1 n minus 1 you add all the scores you get the degree of freedom for the within group variance so uh, for the to understand this concept please watch uh, the video on um, one way over okay uh, now uh, n1 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 so if you add all this n the total score will be n all the n's okay total all the members in the study minus one two three three so three is representing three groups okay now um, the within group variance the equation would be n minus c okay now i'm using the c in this context c means number of groups in this context that's it okay number of groups uh, this is very much applicable in the context of um, let us say um, one way nova we make some changes in the uh, equation when we uh, work with the two way nova or factorial nova total is always n minus 1 total number of participants minus 1 so this is the condition okay now uh, i don't know what how many sample would be there let us say assume that you have sample size uh, n uh, as um, 25 now here this particular score will be n minus c that means 23 and this will be 24 okay like that so this is how we calculate degree of freedom for between within and total so why it is important uh, i think in case studies research case studies generally there used to be a question uh, based on the degree of freedom and how many sample size are used or calculation of the sample size like that so this is kind of a common question in most of the net, net exams now 
uh, what if uh, you have one more variable okay so let us say this is a condition where you have only one variable so i am saying between three conditions of sound and within uh, each conditions uh, so irrespective of sound within each condition what's the contrast here that's how we calculate it so what if you have one more variable let us say i have another variable here that is um, illumination okay illumination one illumination two so the variable is i illumination okay now so i have one variable here another variable here okay now this effect of sound on the performance would be uh, uh, is is a main effect and effect of uh, illumination on the performance will be another uh, main effect so i have two between uh, sum of squares that means between three levels of uh, sound and between two levels of illumination so i'm not, not looking to assess here i need to calculate what would be degree of freedom here so i have two groups here see that two groups and one value has to be subtracted from that uh, to just to write as an equation i'm using rho r r minus one so this will be two minus one one okay now it's one two and one like that so what if you, you have three levels uh, i1 i2 i3 so three minus one you will get two as a degree of freedom what if you have five values in, in a variable uh, five levels in a variable so five minus one four that will be degree of freedom between uh, degree of freedom now wh why do we use a between group design i mean uh, a factorial design uh, that's basically to understand the interaction effect that means how sound and illumination together affect the dependent variable so i will have a degree of freedom i mean sorry uh, uh, sum of squares for interaction of sound and illumination okay now this has to be calculated right so this one is um, not looking to ss so how do we calculate this whatever you have here just sub multiply it okay something like equation that we have here we don't call it as s into i we say s by i okay so interaction of it so uh, it's basically c minus one into r minus one that means just to multiply these values you will get a value like this so this is a degree of freedom of the interaction effect so what about the condition here within uh, group variance okay now in within group variance you cannot just say n minus c when you have a um, two different variables for that you uh, it is appropriate to uh, plot this one how does it graphically look like no graphically table wise it is basically um, i have a s1 s2 and s3 and i1 and i2 this is how the table would look like if you try to write the values for our purpose so you have a, a group here another 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 group here okay now see that so when you calculate within group uh, degree of freedom you have to calculate n minus 1 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 so add all the scores okay now so n capital n total n you add all n's here n's here and minus 1 how many minus 1's will be there 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 uh, minus 1's here so it will be something like n minus how do you get this 6 this is 3 this is 2 so n minus 3 into 2 so this would be the uh, condition so what we uh, are expected to write in this context when you have a within group uh, factor n minus c into r remember that don't subtract any value c minus 1 or r minus 1 like that c into r so that's how we have to calculate uh, degree of freedom for the within uh, score okay now what if you have a uh, condition where when you want to do an ANCOVA what is ANCOVA? ANCOVA is a statistical procedure to control an extraneous variable so assume that you have an extraneous variable something like uh, um, let us say motivation to perform so motivation so somebody has measured motivation of the employees to work hard for the organization okay now uh, this is an extraneous variable so you need to control it so what happens uh, the degree of freedom change degree of freedom change in the within group condition so here you need to subtract one from this okay now you get a usual degree of freedom for within subtract one what if you are two uh, extraneous variable you subtract two here okay now this is how we calculate within uh, group uh, um, degree of freedom within um, sum of squares and this corresponding degree of freedom okay now these are the ways in which you can calculate degree of freedom for uh, one way nova two way nova that's factorial nova and the uh, you know like the um, um, ANCOVA 
what if you have three variables i'm just saying okay three uh, variables like sound illumination and um something like some monetary reward or something like that so if that is a condition so if you have three variables uh, you will have three main effects okay and uh, uh, the uh, around um, just uh, how many interaction effects will be there um, it's basically two raised to three minus three minus one so it's eight minus um, four okay so four so you'll have four interaction effects uh, if you have three independent variable so three main effects and four interaction effects so each interaction corresponding variables degree of freedom has to be calculated and just multiply it you will get this particular factor okay now uh, what about within if you have uh, variables like uh, um, three independent variable you need to calculate n okay minus in the first uh, um, variable how many levels were there how many groups were there that value into in the second independent variable how many uh, uh, groups were there levels were there that value into and the third independent variable uh, how many uh, levels were there let us say um, i'm just keeping k here okay k like that and multiply all the scores and subtract it from n that will be the within group um, factor here okay degree of freedom here so this is how we calculate the degree of freedom of the um, three uh, analysis one vanova uh, factorial anova and ancova yeah that's it bye from my classroom see you in the next class